Hey, welcome back to you to today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the coming week, first of all, today, and then we'll go on and have a look at some longer range charts taking us through August in towards the start of September. We've got the update from the Japanese model, of course, as we always do, JMA Friday. Uh, every Friday, we have a look at the Japanese month head uh, updates. So I'll have a look at battles, I'll have a look at some charts from the CFS model uh, going through August and into just into the start of September. So, uh, yeah, going to be quite a big update this one. Before we get on that, I just want to mention the advertising this video ads on my pages at gasworthers.com. Hit play on the video ad, you'll be supporting gasworthers.com. Thanks very much for doing that. So, very quick, just to talk about the next week to 10 days. These are the 500 bit of our high to normally flow charts for the next 8 to 10 days. We're taking us up to around August the 4th. And we've got the ECMDF here on the left. The GFS is over on the right. We're having a change coming up over the next week to 10 days. The high pressure has been producing uh, all of the dry and hot weather recently. It's pulling out into the Atlantic. Two areas of high pressure actually, but sort of separating one up over Scandinavia, one putting out into the Atlantic. Both the ECM and the GFS show uh, this. Those areas of above average heights pulling into the Atlantic, splitting from the Scandinavian and Atlantic Ridge, and allowing a bit of a trough to set up over the British Isles. They both show this as well. Some below average heights beginning to come in around the country. So it's going to be turning more unsettled, I think, over the next week to 10 days, particularly towards the end of this period. Um, and it's also going to be turning cooler as well. So temperatures will be gradually uh, uh, dropping off, really lowering as we get to, from Sunday through next week. They'll probably be cooling by a degree or so day by day. So by the time you get through to this time next week, uh, they're going to be back towards where they should be, maybe even in the north, a little bit below average. And there will be some more unsettled conditions coming through at times. Here's the uh, GFS chart for next Thursday, showing that ridge out there in the central part of the Atlantic. The trough of low pressure to the north of Scotland. So it's a more unsettled scenario, not a washed out by any means, particularly in the south, be a lot of dry weather next week, but uh, it will be more unsettled in the north particularly, and it will, I think, be a little bit on the cooler side as well, those temperatures lowering day by day by a degree or so. Going through to the end of next week, which takes us to Friday the 1st of August, be the trough of low pressure is over the country, probably producing some showers, and then through into the first weekend of August, sort of keep low pressure around the country, really, and actually it could uh, develop more as we go through the weekend and into the start of the first full week of August, only the 4th of, of, of August, 10 days away. The idea there is that low pressure actually in the North Sea maybe produces some quite uh, wet weather on the eastern side of the country. Temperatures are from a uh, winter from a northerly point as well, so temperatures will be relatively cool with that. Having a look at the ECMWF, when the chart clicks over, there we go. We're going to find the uh, low pressure again to the north of Scotland as we go through to uh, Thursday, uh, the 31st of July, with that northwesterly flow coming down across the country as we move through uh, into uh, the first day of August, a week away, Friday the 1st. Yeah, we're in that northerly flow, so it'll be relatively cool. There'll be showers in the north and the east. And going through to the first full weekend of August uh, and into the start of the uh, first full week of August this is Monday before, 10 days away and again low pressure sort of around the country it will be showery and temperatures will be relatively on the cool side so I've definitely got this change coming up over the next week to 10 days but let's have a look at some more extended range charts and uh, sort of see what they are showing uh, for the coming month this is the Japanese one, the 500 bit of our height anomaly flow uh, chart from the JMA these are broken down into weekly periods the first week period will be taking us from the 24th to the 31st of July, so it's the week that uh, we're currently in. And what we're going to see in this week is, uh, well, we've got the ridge of high pressure, the above average heights out to west, pulling off into the central part of the Atlantic, as, as uh, we know. We've got the low pressure uh, down to the southeast. Uh, I think it's turning totally more unsettled through this week, really, that uh, ridge of high pressure pulling out into the Atlantic and allowing uh, the trough to begin to start setting up over and around uh, the country. Not a deep trough, it's not going to be a washout, there will be plenty of dry weather down in the south, but it'll be more unsettled than we've been used to. Going through to the second weekly period, uh, which takes us from the 31st of July to the 7th of August, we're going to find 
Below average heights then in the Atlantic and down to the south of the country. That could be quite an unsettled week. A ridge is up to the northeast. It could be relatively warm. Winds are probably from a southeasterly direction. But it's quite unsettled, I think, that. And there's a growing risk probably of heavy rain or thunderstorms, particularly down in the south and the southeast. And then as we go through uh, to the final two-week period, taking us from the 7th to the 21st, of August, we get this ridge of high pressure then uh, starting to uh, set up uh, to the east of the country. So, we've got an area of above average height setting up there that could bring summer back through the middle of August. Uh, the trough is lifting out again, and the winds are from an east or southeast direction. So, that potentially turns very warm again through, through uh, the middle two weeks of August and uh, possibly uh, also. <coughs> turning it mainly dry uh, as well. I think there is a hint there that summer is coming back from the Japanese model for uh, the middle part of August. Let's have a look at the CFS. Yeah, that's shown. This is from the website weatherweb.net. This is a 500 millibar height anomaly flow chart for August. So this is for the uh, entire month. And the mean flow really is near normal. We haven't got above average heights or below average heights across the country. So basically we're bringing an Atlantic flow there uh, across the country. It's about average really. Not particularly seven, not particularly unsettled. There'll be some decent weather in there at times. But also some quite unsettled conditions at times as well. Certainly uh, not a complete washout by any means. Just have a quick look at the uh, anomaly chart for September. Then we start to get some above average heights setting up to the north actually around Greenland and Iceland and I would assume that underneath that we're probably getting a trough of low pressure so if anything that could be a cooler more unsettled signal I think as we're going through into September. But let's worry about August first of all and these are the uh, city temperature forecasts from the CFS well this is for Birmingham for central uh, England and what we see as we go uh, through the month is that temperatures are very much up and down so we start very warm uh, just here and then we get a bit of a cool off uh, through next week as we know that's taking place and then we keep it relatively near normal actually as we go through next week bit of a cool down again there around the 5th 6th which July then we pick up then uh, up and down really through to the middle of the month where it does turn cooler for quite an extended period that's a week of cool weather really starting around the 11th and going through to the 18th something like that quite a cool period in that phase but then as you get through to the second half of August temperatures pick up it, can, it becomes quite hot again as you get to around the 21st uh, something like that so that could be in line with what we are just looking at from the JMA actually uh, a bit of a warmer spell perhaps coming up in the second half of the month that takes us through towards the end of the month then there's a bit of a dip as you get through to the start of September before picking up again but the overall signal from that is that temperatures are very much up and down a bit of a sinewy uh, type pattern so sometimes we bring warm air in sometimes we bring cooler air in um, and overall I think once you average all that out temperatures are probably coming out uh, near normal actually I don't think we would be deviating that far uh, from the average although that warm phase at the end of August could perhaps just tip us over into a warmer than average month but nothing particularly exceptional now look at the precipitation forecast uh, for August to uh, see how the rainfall balances out. This is uh, broken down into weekly period. We have the first week here to the 31st of July, so the week that we're currently in. And again, it's not a dry weather across the country. We'll be turning a little bit more showery than we've been used to, but a fair amount of dry weather coming up next week, particularly down in the south, more south into the north. Now, through the first week of August, this takes us to the 7th of August, uh, much more in way of precipitation around then. Quite an unsettled week uh, coming up and that is in line with what we were just looking at at the start of the video actually as we get through to the end of next week and on into the start of August then we are possibly uh, looking at a more unsettled phase really with low pressure beginning to set up as a trough around the country so the first week of August could be quite unsettled and that takes us through into the week ending the 14th of August as well although not that bad down in the south and south east still plenty of dry weather there but more unsettled up in the north particularly for Scotland now the next week which takes us to the 21st through the middle of August uh, week ending the 21st that is a proper wet week look at that that's a very wet week there across many parts of the country but don't despair because as we get through to the next week the week ending the 20 
28th. Dry weather comes back in, that's high pressure really building in. And that's associated with that lift in the temperature that we saw on the uh, city temperature f uh, graph for Birmingham. High pressure comes in towards the end of August and it turns very warm and dry uh, through to the latter stage of the month before going through to the start of September and it starts to turn unsettled again from the west. That's six weeks away, it's a long way off, but uh, that's the sort of signal from the, uh, uh, the CFS um, this morning that uh, we're going to have a relatively mixed month. It's not going to be a disaster, but it will be mixed. There will be unsettled and more settled weather alternating, and the best spell perhaps coming up towards the final week to 10 days or so of the month where it could turn mainly dry and very warm. So we're looking at a mixed August if these charts are right. There will be some decent weather in there at times, but it'll also be unsettled. Not the sort of extended heat and dry weather that we've had in July um, if these charts are right of course these are very experimental so we can't take them too seriously but coming back to the more reliable time frame the next week to 10 days we are looking at a change if you fell up with the heat it's on its way out temperatures will be dropping day by day from Sunday going through next week so by this time next week we're probably going to be down back where we should be in the north it could even be a little bit cooler than average and there'll be showers gradually spreading down from the northwest at times as well um and then as we go to the start of august it could turn quite unsettled for a time that's it for now that's how it's looking it's the uh, weekend forecast tomorrow come back for that that's all for now thanks for watching